Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today is our third installment of the perfume, roll, rolling perfume roulette project pan. Why can I never say that? It was created by Daisy and is being hosted by the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. I will have Daisy's link down below as well as um, the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group and all of the participants who are involved in this project. Their links will all be down below as well. This runs September, September, October, November, December. Yeah, so this is our third installment. Yeah, no, fourth installment, third update. Sorry, this started September 4th and goes through January 4th. It is where we um, randomly pick four perfumes for that month. And each week we wear one perfume. And then we randomly pick the next month. Since I film on my phone, I can't randomly pick while filming. So... Um, I have already done that ahead of time, but let's talk about last month's four perfumes. And I only have three because I lost one. I wore it once and then I lost it and I'm really sad because it's about this size of a bottle and it was about this full and so I'm really saddened by that because it's Misty or and it was actually for my fourth week. So we'll talk about that in a second But just know I am missing that one But the first week I drew um, Avon's velvet. This is their new um, Perfume that just came out. This has pomegranate, fig, raspberry, Bulgarian rose, black lily, heliotrope, patchouli, saffron, and skin musk. Now, I really like this. At first, I wasn't sure what to think of it um, because that patchouli is a bit strong. Now, they describe the patchouli as a velvety patchouli. And I would say it is smooth, um, a lot smoother than some that, you know, the, sometimes they can be really cloying and heavy and syrupy. Um, while this is all those things, it kind of has some rounded edges to it. Now, I've never had any perfume with pomegranate in it. So I don't know if that's what I smell at the beginning, but I get um, the floral notes, I get the rose, and I get the lily, um, but I can smell that patchouli. And I can smell um, the saffron. Sa the, the saffron is really a more delicate, um, I guess you could oh I just bumped my nose sorry about that um why am I apologizing to you um it just it maybe that is what takes the edge off of the patchouli is that saffron but it it gives it a little spice but it it's more rounded more well-rounded um it's really gentle and soft that saffron is um, I really like velvet it has grown on me since I got it um, I just wish I could pick up like the pomegranate but I don't smell any type of fruitiness no yeah I don't smell any fruitiness I smell the floral and I smell the patchouli and the saffron and just a hint of musk which is probably good because I'm thinking I'm not a huge fan of patchouli. I do like musk, but I can't imagine liking the two, you know, that heavy presence of both of them. So I do like 
Avon's Velvet. It is a very pretty scent and the bottle is gorgeous. So, but that's a side note. Okay, the second week I had Toka's Julieta and I have worn this before. I am now down to here. I thought I'd finish it, but I didn't get it done. The notes in Toka Julieta are green apple, rose, lang lang, tulip, lily of the valley, iris, orchid, lilac, heliotrope, cedar, musk, amber, and sandalwood. Now, that green apple is very present for like five minutes, but it's so pretty and it's that light refreshing note at the beginning and then oh, that whole bouquet of floral notes just kind of start to waft into your um, into your presence and it stays those those florals stay there for quite a while um, so it is very pretty if you don't like floral scents this is probably not for you um, because it is it is a lighter floral but um, it's still a floral and then the end the end is so pretty and soft and I want to say velvety no it's a very smooth ending to me just soft and gentle and it really suits um, that whole bouquet of flowers that you get with this um, yeah I really like Julieta for a floral. I'm not a huge floral fan, but I really do like it. Um, it is very pretty, so I'm excited. I'm not excited. I was excited and I enjoyed Toka Julieta. Okay, now the third one, where is it? I did finish and this is from my scent bird vial. It's my English laundry signature for her. This was my third week and sorry, I touched my nose again and it's wet. Um, this has a hint of burnt sugar to it. That's what I, you know, when I sniff it, I can really smell that. This has quince, white chocolate, jasmine, orris root, musk, and woody notes. So where I'm getting, you know, burnt sugar, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I really smell it. Now when I put it on my skin, I get a, free, a fruity. This is probably the most gourmand that I have out of English laundries. Um, collection and I don't even know if it's considered a gourmand but it um, it it's sweet and and cozy I guess is how how I would describe it um, I don't know what quince smells like but I smell a sweetness to it and then um, I smell that burnt sugar um, when I'm sniffing it, I don't know what orris root smells like. It does, it does have a muskier dry down, um, but it mixes nicely with those, that woody note. So it, it really has a comforting, um, blanket feel to it. I wish I had some to spray it on so I could describe it better for you, but we're, okay. Um, but it just smells so good. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite. I don't, I don't pick up a white chocolate. I don't pick up a jasmine in here. I smell sweet, cozy goodness in a bottle. And I highly doubt it's a gourmand, but, um, that's what I get off of it when I wear it. Now, my fourth one was Miss Dior, and as I told you at the 
head. I lost my bottle and I'm hoping to find it it's somewhere um, because I still had quite a bit left in um, this bigger, this is, I want to say a five mil bottle. Um, but it has mandarin, jasmine, rose, patchouli, and musk. Now, like I said earlier, I am not a patchouli fan, and I don't even smell it in Misty, or I just smell the sweet, syrupy goodness of Misty, or it is, it's very pretty, it's soft. Um, I'm trying to remember. It, it's very feminine. That's how I would describe Miss Dior as very feminine, as very, not comforting, but beautiful. It makes you feel very, very ladylike, um, very, very pretty. And so I really like Miss Dior. I'm hoping to find that bottle because I'd like to wear the rest of it. That is for sure. Okay. So those are my third month selection for perfume, rolling perfume roulette. What I have selected the next month is, my first one is a Scentbird vial, and it doesn't really fit the time of year, but hey, we're gonna roll with it, right? It is rolling perfume roulette. It is my Dolce & Gabbana, Three Le Imperatrice. This is really for the summer, but I'm excited to wear it. I've only worn it a few times. I mean, you can see I have worn it, but I haven't worn it a whole lot. So I'm excited to wear this. The second week is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I just have a sample of it. My third week is Insolence by Guerlain. I, this is the Eau de Toilette. I am excited to wear this. And then my fourth week is Wild Fox. And I have just a sample of this. And this is new to my collection. So I think I've sprayed it on once, but couldn't tell you what it smelled like so I am excited to try wild fox out and to wear the other three so that is my update for the rolling perfume roulette if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it would mean the world to me and yeah if you're not subscribed I'd love for you to join our family if you would like to and if you do, hit that notification bell so you're advised whenever I upload a video. And please leave any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments section. I do read them and I do respond. So um, I love it when you take a moment of your time to leave me a note. It warms my heart, so I appreciate it. You guys take care and I will see you on the next one.